Welcome to the studio. You are here for the Sobel SV06 Ace. So let's just jump right into the details. We're going to go through all of its features, who it competes with, the print results, and of course my final thoughts on who this machine is ultimately for. And at the end, I'll go over what I think is missing. This video is generously sponsored by Polymaker and their brand new Panchroma line of filament. I'll have links on the screen and in the description below. Go check them out. Now, I've tested a lot of 3D printers here in the studios, but this one at this particular price point and with this feature set really has the potential to shake things up in the mid-sized bed slinger market. Now, for those of you considering a Prusa Mark IV or a Bamboo Lab A1, listen up. The SV06 Ace not only competes, but it does it at a price point and an ease of assembly that makes it one of the most approachable new machines on the market. Now, let's get into the setup, which I know is a major factor for a lot of people, especially if you're brand new to 3D printing or you just wanna get up and running fast. The SV06 Ace only took about 15 minutes to assembly and everything just snapped right into place. I was impressed with how modular the build was. No extra hassle, no complicated instructions. For beginners, it's an easy guided setup that gets you printing fast. And if you're an experienced user, um, I still think you'll appreciate that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward setup and it makes life easier when a printer just comes this way. Now, when you first turn it on, it has a 4.3 inch touchscreen that greets you with this really nice startup wizard that handles auto bed leveling and input shaping calibration right from the first boot. Now this feature alone is worth mentioning only because it takes care of those adjustments. It can be a pain on other printers and the interface itself, um, beautiful, like simple, large, responsive. Um, and I think I like how Sovol has prioritized the user experience here, making it intuitive, even if this is your very first 3D printer. Now let's go ahead and talk about speed because I think this is where all 3D printers are going. The Sovol SV06 Ace has an advertised speed of about 600 millimeters per second with acceleration of up to 20,000 millimeters per second squared, which is advertised as about 12 times faster than the original SV06 model. That means that you're looking at a 13 minute Benchy. That's right, just under 13 minutes, which is kind of crazy. We're looking at machines lately that are regularly producing benches under 15 minutes, and they don't look bad either. Now, I know high speed can sometimes mean more noise, but I think the Ace runs relatively quietly thanks to one of the smoothest motion systems that I've ever seen in action. Um, it's rare to see such smooth, nearly silent movement especially at these speeds. So this is a huge win if you plan to have it running nearby. You can easily print and work in the same space as this. In fact, it's running right now and you can kind of hear the cooling fans for the enclosure. Um, I mean, I can hear them, but I don't know if you can hear them through the mic, but it's a pretty quiet machine. Now, one of the standout features of the new SV06 Ace because this clipper is its advanced resonance compensation. Now, what is that? We hear it all the time. Resonance compensation is an intelligent algorithm that actively detects and neutralizes the vibrations that are typically occurring during high-speed movements of the printer. Now, by dampening the vibrations, resonance compensation helps to reduce those ugly ringing and ghosting effects, which means your prints ultimately just come out more smooth and maybe even flawless, um, even at higher speeds. Another feature, of course, on the Sovol SV06 Ace is pressure advance. And we're seeing this a little bit more and more on a lot of new printers, and we hear that a lot, so let me explain. Pressure advance optimizes film and extrusion by dynamically adjusting the pressure within the nozzle. So as the print head changes speeds, pressure advance compensates for that lag or that delay that can happen when the nozzle is accelerating or decelerating. This leads to ultimately cleaner prints again, like cleaner corners, sharper edges, and even more precise details um, throughout the print. Now, hardware quality can make or break a printer and the SV06 Ace brings some serious quality to the table here. Starting with their advanced planetary dual gear extruder. This thing has some serious grip on the filament. Matter of fact, I couldn't even get it to slip even when I was trying to manually like pull that filament out of the hot end. Uh, their setup is super lightweight and it's very powerful and it works great with a variety of filaments. It has a ceramic heater hot end that has a max temperature of 300 C and that means of course you're gonna work with a wide range of materials like PLAs, TPUs, PTGs, and ABS. Um, without any issues. But because it isn't enclosed, um, these are probably your limits really on the various materials um, that you'll be using. Now, the SV06 Ace is a little more heavy duty than the regular SV06. The frame itself uses these new 10 millimeter Z axis guide rods up from the standard eight millimeter, and that gives it a really rock solid structure that can handle the high speeds that this machine is capable of without any wobble or instability. Now, I've gotta say it's great to see, 
uh, Sovel's attention to detail and the build quality at this particular price range. Sovel even added uh, dual Z axis motors to this one, um, allowing for more precise and efficient leveling. Now, this means you're not constantly fiddling with adjustments. Uh, the printer just does its thing, and I have to say it uh, does it well. It's, it's a great setup for beginners. The metal bearings and tracks in the XY dual axis wheel structure are also a standout feature, improving wear resistance and significantly extending the machine's lifespan. For a budget-friendly option, this level of durability really adds to the value, I think, for the SVO6 Ace. On to user experience, which I think Sobel has clearly put a lot of thought into. This 4.3 inch touchscreen is large. Um, it's pretty intuitive, and uh, I think it's really well designed. I'd like actually the home screen and everything that it shows you there. Everything uh, is right in front of you and navigating through the options is a breeze. It has Wi-Fi connectivity like you'd expect, um, which kind of lets you start and stop the prints remotely. Um, I think it's a feature that almost is a must have these days. But if you prefer keeping things offline, there's also a USB option so you can uh, run your prints over with sneaker net. Slicing was done in Orca Slicer, which is kind of nice. So we'll provided some profiles for that. So it's a simple to use interface. Everyone should be familiar with it. Pair this with the fact that the printer is clipper powered. Um, that means you get access to the remote web management tools and uh, that little sleek interface there. Now, Sovel includes a camera kind of hidden right up under here and it lets you monitor your prints in real time and even create some uh, fun time lapses as well so whether you're in the next room or across the country um, I don't think it matters you can check on your prints and even share your time lapse results uh, um, I guess on social media or with your friends or family the filament runout sensor up here at the top is nice but I think it's kind of expected with just about any new 3d printer on the market today so uh, but anyway in any event it has one Another crucial feature is the dual high flow fan cooling system on the tool head. This setup not only keeps things cool, but also pretty quiet. Um, balanced, even airflow right around the nozzle helps maintain print quality, preventing warping or cooling issues that often come up with higher speed printing. And let's not forget about the bed setup. It has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter on the Z build volume, and it comes with this dual sided uh, black PEI coated steel build plate, which provides excellent adhesion and it makes it easy to remove prints. You just flex it and everything pops off. Solo has added some nice touches here that make maintenance easy. The X and Y axis have these bed leveling knobs, um, so you'll be able to adjust tension um, without any special tools or anything like that. You can just reach up and keep everything nice and tight. And I think that that's something that both beginners and advanced users will appreciate. You won't be searching for tools when you want to keep those belts tight. It has very simple over-the-air updates, which is a big deal now. The companies are pushing updates as often as quick as they are. Before, we used to feel lucky to ever get an update, and now companies are rolling out updates all the time, and this is definitely uh, the right way to do it. Okay, and now the price. This is one of those, like, how are they doing this moments? Because the early bird price for the SVO6 Ace is just $259, and I think that's for the first 500 units. Um, that's an absolute steal, considering this is a loaded bed slinger. And I think the final price after the initial discounts is going to be somewhere around like $299, which is still a pretty incredible price uh, for what you're getting here. Okay, so now for my final thoughts here. Who is this printer for? Honestly, it's for just about everyone. Whether you're a first time buyer or you're an experienced 3D printing enthusiast, I really think that this machine is going to work for all of you. It's fast, it's budget friendly, and I think it produces pretty good results, making it an amazing choice, I think, for hobbyists, prototypers, or anyone looking to expand their 3D printing capabilities. If uh, you've been waiting, I think, for a solid, medium-sized, affordable 3D printer that performs pretty well, this is definitely an option. Overall, I'm impressed with what Sovel's done here. Um, it's an up-to-date, loaded bed slinger. Um, it's fast, has all the features I think you're gonna want, and uh, like I said, it's available at a pretty good price point. But doesn't it feel like there's something missing? What is it? I, I know what you're thinking, right? It's multicolor. I'm just not sure where these bed slingers are gonna go from here. This is already at 600 millimeters per second. It's producing great results. I mean, other than maybe the aesthetics, um, the look and the feel like they can just change the form factor and I, and I guess they can always work on user experience right so they can always improve on that and I really think that they'll probably continue to do that but I think what we're really missing here and what the industry really wants is more multicolor options now in the past we've seen Sovel talk about working with coprint to add multicolor printing to the Sovel SV08 now I have a coprint here um, it just arrived, I think, like last week. And if you want to see me add it to this machine and get this thing printing in multicolor, let me know in the comments below. And uh, 
I think this machine goes in a whole new direction if we can print in multiple colors. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me below. Now, let me give a huge thank you to our YouTube and Patreon members. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. I mean, it's a very simple machine. I don't know what to say. Simple. Loaded. Budget friendly. Great results. But I would want to see some multicolor on it.